Hi, this is Galit Gopal and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling good because today our quote of the day is Forget Regret or Life is Yours to Miss by Jonathan Larson. We all have things in our life that we regret either doing or not doing. Choices that we made when perhaps we were not old enough to understand their consequences. We may have uh, not had parents who could guide us to make better choices because either they were still children or immature themselves or they had problems of their own to deal with or they were non-existent. Whatever the reason, it is not important. We have to move on. Regret is hard to live with. And worst of all, it may elicit guilt feelings, the most destructive of negative feelings for the self-esteem of a person that there, that there is. We all have regrets, perhaps of not being there enough for our children or not giving enough care to our parents when uh, they were suffering from some kind of disease or not spending enough time with our partners or not going after our dreams or not doing what we felt was right to do or not expressing our true feelings. We all get into situations that were not right for us because we knew no better. We all make mistakes and we all probably will still make mistakes. The question is what do we do with regards to our mistakes? There are things and situations that cannot be reversed or changed. Wrong or bad choices were made and their results may hang around even forever in our life. Now the only question is what do you do from this day forward? Is it going to be a new beginning? Did you learn the real lessons from the mistakes that you made? Have your mistakes made you into a better, more humane person? If yes, then these regrets and bad choices were not in vain. The lessons were learned and there was growth through hardship. Perhaps more than could have ever come if things went all according to plan and if all of the choices that you made were perfect and life would have gone perfectly as you wished it to go. But it did not go according to these plans and it did so in order to teach you a lesson. To help you place your attention on some form of behavior that you have that is not in your best interest for the future. This behavior could have been cutting corners, fear, guilt, anger, or even just plain not knowing, not understanding the situation and our place in the situation. Yes, regrets are the hardest lessons to learn because they affect so much of our life in the future as well. Bad judgment may have led you down a difficult path for life, but the more difficult the path you went down, the even greater path that you can go up after learning the lessons and growing as a person. Life is not easy for anyone, and we all have bad judgment at times. For some lucky people, the bad judgment did not leave a heavy scar. For others, it did. You have these scars to remind you how far you have come in terms of your choices, your behaviors, and your beliefs about yourself. You have come a long way, and you have the scars to prove it. Regret can only be removed when you understand the lessons that you received that are, were exactly what you needed in order to drive you to progress. This must be a very strong belief that comes from within, a belief that is really all in your that all is really in your favor. Steve Jobs said it best when he said you can't connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking backward. So you have to trust that the dots will somehow connect in your future. You have to trust in something, in your gut, in destiny, life or karma, whatever. This approach has never let me down and it has made all the difference in my life. This is what Steve Jobs said. And <clears throat> I recommend that you write down your regrets. Write down the worst choices that you made in your lifetime. And after that, write down the lessons that you have learned as a result of your past faulty judgment. What could you have done better? Now forgive yourself. Forgive yourself and remember that this was one of the most important lessons you had to learn in life. And then make sure that you will never have to relearn this lesson in a different situation in your life again. You may even want to write down 
this lesson on a post-it note and have it near you uh, right in front of your computer or something until you are sure that the lesson has been learned and has been, been ingrained in your very being. There are some regrets that you still can change, some situations that you still have an opportunity to turn things around, and I recommend you do this immediately once you have recognized the situation so that you will not suffer regret from this issue in the future. Improve yourself and change your behavior until you are happy with who you are right now. But even if the situation is non-reversible, harness the lesson. Make sure you understand the lesson so well. Was the lesson never to give away your power? Was the lesson to believe more in yourself or to love yourself more? Was the lesson to become more educated on a subject? Was the lesson to help another person in need or to be more caring, more loving, and more accepting? Was the lesson of acceptance of another or accepting yourself and your feelings as they are and sharing them? Whatever the lesson, embrace it. You did the best you could with the capacity and abilities you had at the time. Forgive yourself and move on to being a better person you have become as a result of making this mistake and learning the lesson. Never mind the past. It will usually be forgotten by all once you change and become a better version of yourself. And once you learn the lesson that you were intended to learn as a result, the most important thing you can do is pass on this lesson to other people. Pay it forward. If you learned a lesson that brought you great value, pass it on so that others can learn from you and perhaps spare themselves some hardships that you went through to learn this lesson. Remember, we do not live forever. We sometimes behave as if we will live forever, but we won't. We will all die. And what we made of our life and what we leave behind is our legacy. And even if you made mistakes on the way, what did you do with these mistakes? What did you do with the lessons you learned? Every moment you are alive, you are creating your legacy. How would you like to be perceived as, as a person after you are gone? As a person who improved this world even slightly is better than anyone who gave nothing back to the world and only took and took during their time spent here. Every feeling can be turned. There are countless stories of how people raised themselves from the worst places in life into greatness. And so can you. Speak your truth. Tell others what you feel. When you hide your feelings because of fear or rejection, you will regret it because you are hiding who you truly are. You are the one who will lose from not sharing your true feelings the most. But so will all those others around you. Most often we regret the things that we did not do rather than the things that we did do. I know that it is not easy to truly forgive your past mistakes and your flaws and your imperfections and let go of the time that was wasted on self-pity, anger, and uh, re regret and all of these negative feelings. But it must be done for you to live your, to your highest capacity. You can't get there if you are constantly putting yourself down. As I have said before, do your very best in all situations and you will avoid regret. Even if you did not live like this before, it is never too late to start. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that you are ensuring that you're moving your life into the best place possible for you. So the question of the day is, what things do I regret most about my life? Either doing or not doing, saying or not saying. And what lessons should I have learned from these mistakes? Now keep these lessons close to your heart so that when the time comes, and it will, you will react differently and do things as you wish you would have done the first time. As usual, I recommend writing down this question and your answer to it in a notebook especially prepared for these coaching sessions so that you can look over them and make sure you're improving your life to the best possible place for you so that you can fill your dreams and make your life the best it can possibly be. So to finish off, the affirmation of the day is, I am capable of moving beyond my mistakes and healing from the hurt and pain I have caused. I am capable of moving beyond my mistakes and healing from the hurt and pain I have caused. Now tell this to yourself as many times as you remember to do so today because with repetition, an affirmation has the power to completely transform your life and make it better. So thank you very much for joining me today. 
I hope you like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications button so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Also, please visit my website, thegorilladiet.com, for anything to help you move your health and wellness to a better place for you. Thank you very much for joining.